Hi kindergarten! I know that this week we've been learning about a mail carrier and a mail carrier is someone who delivers letters and packages to help us stay connected. Now I know that right now we're stuck at home and we can't always connect with other people that we know or that we miss. So today I want to show you how you can write a letter. The first thing that you need to write a letter is a piece of paper that kind of looks like this. Oops. I made it kind of like a postcard so it would be a little bit easier to draw a picture and write some words. So you need a nice empty space on one side like this, then a spot on the other side where you can write some words. Over here in the top, that's where we can draw our stamp later. Now, when we're writing our letter to somebody that we miss, Maybe we want to write to a grandma or a grandpa, maybe a cousin brother or a cousin sister, or maybe kindergarten, you miss somebody from school. Like I was thinking, thinking boys and girls, and I remembered that it's been a really long time since I've seen my friend Mrs. Chohan. So I decided to write my letter to Mrs. Chohan. And in my head, I started to think about things that Mrs. Chohan and I really like to do at school. I know we like to play at the house center. I know we like to play at the sand center. But every day, Mrs. Chohan and I, we like to make puzzles and have a little race to see how fast we could build them. So in my head, I remembered that that was something that we really liked. In your head, boys and girls, I want you to think about something that you really like to do with the person that you want to write a letter to. Then you can start drawing your picture. First, you have to use Matt Man to draw you. Then you can draw your friend. And then you can add the details from wherever you are. So for me, I made details from the classroom. So this is the picture that I made this is Mrs. Chohan sitting in a chair in the classroom. This is the table where we were sitting and building our puzzle. And this is the timer that was there to help us race. Over here is Mrs. Beaton and I'm celebrating. I'm so happy because we finished the puzzle before the timer was all done. Then I started to think about the other details that I see in the classroom. So over here, oops, over here, I made the smart board, and underneath I made some windows, and the computer that the teacher used, and I made the shoe bin, and the table where we could also sit. I tried to think of lots of details that we could use for the classroom. So that's what I want you to do first. Then, boys and girls, we're going to try and write some words. Now, if we're writing to a friend, we want to try to use these words. Up at the top, i switch my hands, I always write the word to first. For my card, or my letter, I wrote to Mrs. Chohan, because that's who I want to write my letter to. But if Mrs. Chohan isn't who you want to write your letter to, you don't have to write her name. Then I wrote the words, thank you for being my friend and I put a little exclamation mark at the end because I was very excited. When I was all done writing my letter to Mrs. Chohan at the bottom I wrote from Mrs. Beaton so that she knew that this letter was for me and up here I made a little stamp for it to go in the mail. Now boys and girls we might not be able to really mail these pictures but if you make a picture for your friend, maybe your family can take a picture with their camera and they can put it in our classroom stream so that your friend can see it on there. Now I'm going to show you really quickly how to write those words and then you can go try and draw your, write your letter. Alrighty? I'm going to put my camera down and I'm going to show you my paper. So this one's empty. First I would draw my picture, then I would go and write my words. And I remember the teacher said, first we're going to write the word to. To looks like this. It's the letter T and then the letter O. And after two, I'm going to put two little dots like this. And on the rest of that line, I would write my friend's name. 
Now, if you don't know how to write your friend's name, that's okay. You can make the sounds so that you can hear them and do your best to write it. After that, I'm going to go down to the next line and I'm going to start writing those other letters um, to, to write my letter to Mrs. Chohan. So I remember it was the letter T H A N K. That says thank. And if you don't remember all the letters, that's okay. Your family can show you the slides and I have it highlighted in yellow. So this says thank, and then I need the word you, so I'm going to put a finger space. And I write Y O U. Thank you. I don't have any more room here, so I'm going to go down to the next line. I'm going to write, copy those letters F O R. Thank you for being. I need another finger space. I'm going to copy those letters that I see B E. I N G. Now I have to write the word my, but I don't think that's enough space. I'm not going to try and squeeze it in. I'm going to go down to the next line. I'm going to copy those letters. I see the letter M and then the letter Y. Thank you for being my. And the last word I need to copy is the word friend. So I'm going to make another finger space. I'm going to make the letter F. R I E N D. Thank you for being my friend. And I remember this message made us feel excited, so it's okay to make a little exclamation mark like that. The last thing that you have to do, kindergarten, is write the word from, and that will be from you. So you're going to copy those letters from from F R. O, M. Then you're going to make those two dots just like you did up here at the top. So this one was two, and that's where I write my friend's name. And then at the bottom it says from, and that's where you're going to write your name. Remember kindergarten, those words are all written on the paper, and you just have to copy them off the slides. I hope you have fun writing to your friends. Can't wait to see your letters. Bye kindergarten.